Hey guys, Aaron from Odenworks here. Today we're going to talk about barrels. We make a lot of barrels and we get a lot of questions from, from users. You know, which barrel for me? How do I pick a barrel? Some of the other things about all of our barrels, they all come threaded. Even the barrels on our uppers, they all come threaded. Uh, 223 is half 28. The other larger calibers like 6.5 Grendel, 6.5 Creedmoor, 300 Blackout, they're all going to be a 5.8 24. All right, so why would you pick a certain barrel? Uh, 223 first. Uh, you might need a 223 barrel if you're replacing an old wore out barrel or just a low cost barrel. Uh, it came on, you know, a $300 gun and you want something better. So our most popular barrel that we make is the 223 Wild or Wildy, depending on how you say it. The reason why we chose the 223 Wildy is it's actually you're able to use 223 Remington ammunition and 5.56 ammunition. And I'm sure most of you know that you can't use 5.56 in a 223 Remington chamber. The pressures uh, don't work, you get stuck cases and bad things can happen. So the great thing about the 223 Wild is you can use any kind of 5.56 or 2.23 Remington ammunition and you actually don't lose the accuracy that you do with the 5.56 chamber. So that's why we use 223 Wildy. So if you're looking for accuracy, you want to go with length. If you're looking for lightweight and short and easy to maneuver, you want to go with a short barrel. So in all of the barrels that we offer, we have rifle length, we have intermediate length, we have mid-length carbine and pistol length. The longer the length of the gas system, the softer shooting it's going to feel. Also, the heavier the barrel, the softer it's going to feel. Heavier barrels also shoot more accurately, so our 18-inch DMR is going to be the softest shooting and it's also going to be the most accurate. So if that's what you're looking for, go with a DMR. If you're into three gun or general plinking, one of our 18 inch rifle or intermediate lengths is perfect. And our most popular barrel, depending on the month, is the 16 inch mid length. This guy right here is a great compromise of length of barrel and gas system. However, if you want something, again, softer shooting, we offer the 16 inch uh, intermediate length. We also have the 16 inch ultralight. So if you're looking for something that's lightweight, easy to shoot, uh, this ultralight is a great choice. Something important to note, on any caliber of any barrel with an AR, if you go less than 16 inches, say you go to a 14.5 all the way down to a 7 or even shorter, you get special rules applied to these barrels. In order for it to be considered a rifle, the barrel has to be 16 inches or longer. So you can take these barrels and you can weld and pin something to it like a muzzle brake, and it will be legal as long as it's 16 inches to be a rifle. If you go shorter than that, you actually have to get what's called an SPR stamp, which costs you $200 from the federal government, from ATF, or you have to build a pistol. So then that's not a big deal these days. You can buy a SIG brace or you can buy a, a shockwave brace, easy to do. So uh, that's why you'd pick those barrels. Again, are you looking for lightweight? Are you looking for accuracy? Uh, if you're looking for both, the good news is that all of our barrels from 14 and a half longer with the exception of our ultralight are guaranteed to one inch uh, accuracy at 100 yards. And even that ultralight 16 inches guaranteed to an inch and a half accuracy at 100 yards. So that's why you'd buy uh, a 223. The next barrel that we made is actually the 300 Blackout. The 300 Blackout still popular and some months it's more popular than others. You would buy a 300 Blackout and use a 300 Blackout if you need more power downrange. If you're hunting, a lot of people hunt deer and hogs with 300 Blackout. It just uses a lot bigger bullet. 147 grain, even 110 grain, all the way up to 220 grain for subsonic. Um, and it's just hard on animals. They go down when you hit it with a blackout. A lot of people uh, use uh, suppressors with blackout and that's really what it was designed for with subsonic big heavy bullets that's very quiet when you shoot it with a suppressor. A lot of times the blackout builds are actually the cycling of the action is louder than anything else with the round going off. So um, they're made for quiet, they're made for hunting. If you want to shoot them supersonic, it's uh, very close to a 7.62 by 3.9 at that point. Um, so that's when you would choose a, um, a blackout barrel. We offer it in carbine length, uh, pistol length, and then we also offer a 10 inch. So that's what's available in 300 blackout. All right, the next barrel that we're going to talk about that uh, we came out with is actually the 6.5 Grendel. The 6.5 Grendel is really a wonder round. It's that uh, amazingly popular 6.5 bullet, and it is in an AR platform. Here is our 20 inch rifle length. We also offer an 18 inch intermediate length, and this actually is very, very popular. 
our 16 inch intermediate ultralight. These are all Grendel, they all work in AR-15 platforms. You buy a barrel, you have to change the bolt actually, uh, which we have uh, bolt carrier groups that we offer for sale, and then you have to use a different magazine. But other than that, everything on your AR-15 works. For this ultralight, if, I, if you're looking for something that's lightweight, has a ton of punch, uh, knockdown power, you're talking about a 123 grain bullet going 2,500 feet per second. This thing has some punch. Great for hunting deer, it's not as loud as your big heavy hunting rifles, still delivers a lot of punch. We also have the 18 inch intermediate and the 20 inch rifle. You know, I think you can probably flip a quarter and decide which one's better. 18 inches a little bit lighter, 20 inches a little bit softer shooting. 25 feet per second difference in, in uh, the, the velocity of the bullet. Um, you can easily shoot to a thousand yards with them. Uh, very, very accurate. Uh, quickly becoming one of my most popular cartridges. Amazing to shoot, a lot of fun to shoot. And that's when you'd pick a 6.5 Grendel. The next barrels that we came out with were actually this year, and we came out with the 9mm. 9mm or PCCs are very, very popular right now. Uh, one thing you'll notice is there's no gas block here or, or gas block seat. Uh, it's not required with 9mm, so no gas tube or gas block required. You put this together with an upper and a fore-end and a BCG, and you've got a functioning uh, upper receiver. So 9mm. And again, it's threaded. We actually offer uh, these in half 28. We do offer Atlas muzzle brakes that will fit half 36, but all of ours uh, nine millimeters are threaded in half 28. So why would you build a nine millimeter? Well, cost of ammo is, uh, depending on what kind of ammo you're buying, you can get ammo for $8 a box of 50. And for uh, 223, it's actually eight to 10 to 15 or $20 a box of 20. So you can see there's a big difference in price, still fun to shoot, uh, and it's still an AR. You can literally take a 90mm upper off and put it onto an, a, a, the same lower with a couple of modifications, it's gonna work. So uh, that's when you would choose a 9mm. Something fun to shoot, easy to shoot, not as loud, not as much recoil, but still an AR platform. The next barrel that we offer is a 22 nozzler. This came out this year. The 22 nozzler came out at SHOT Show in 2017 uh, in January, and we were one of the very first early adopters. Think of this as a 22250 in an AR platform. So you change this out. You can actually use your existing bolt carrier group if you already have a gun. You change this, get a different magazine, either a 6.5 Grendel magazine or a 6.8 SPC magazine, and you've got a lot of power, a lot of velocity in that same AR platform. So people are getting in the mid 3000s in uh, feet per second with, with this bullet, 55 grain bullets, 36 grain bullets. They're even pushing the heavy bullets above 70 grain bullets are going well over 3000 feet per second. So uh, that would be a varmeter. Uh, if you're, you you want to go shoot prairie dogs or whatever varmint and you want a very fast flat round, that's when you would select a 22 nozzler. The last, and so all of these barrels that I've talked about up until this point are AR-15 platform. This barrel is our first foray into AR-10 barrels. So you can see the extension's much bigger here. This is actually a 22 inch. We got a lot more meat and material up here. This guy is a 6.5 Creedmoor. It's going to be followed very shortly by 6mm Creedmoor or 6 Creedmoor and eventually 308 maybe. Uh, we haven't decided if we want to do 308s. So this one, you can't just slap it into an AR-15 upper. It won't work. It's got to go into some kind of AR-10. So any of the DPMS pattern, Armalite pattern uppers, this will fit in. Uh, 6.5 Creedmoor is amazingly popular in the long range world right now. You can use this for hunting. You can use it for long range. Uh, you can easily get to a thousand yards and plus with this. So um, if you want to shoot long range, you want to hunt big game with it, this would be the barrel. Well, I talk about long range. You can shoot long range with a 223. You can't really with 9mm or 300 blackout, but our, our 6.5 Grendel, the 22 Nosler, uh, absolutely you can shoot long range with those. Um, the uh, 6.5 Grendel is, is easily a thousand yard gun, you know, for hitting steel targets. Um, I've seen people actually hitting out to 12 or 1300 and on YouTube you can find guys shooting milk jugs at a mile with a 6.5 Grendel. So 
Uh, the 22 nozzler, again, you're going to get those heavy bullets. It's going to sling them out there. Um, it's not going to go quite as far because it doesn't have the weight that the projectile of the 6.5 Grendel has. But if you're looking for long range, you know, the Grendel, the 22 nozzler, the 6.5 Creedmoor, that's a great way to go. With all of our barrels, we include a free gas block. This is actually a tunable gas block. So you actually has this Allen wrench in there. You tune, the, there's two screws in there. You tune it so that it shoots your load the way that you want to. That's included free with every barrel that needs it. 9mm barrels don't need it. On our barrels that use non-standard gas tubes, which would be intermediate, and this 6.5 Creedmoor actually uses what's called the Rifle XL, we include the gas tube. You can buy a gas tube with all of them. It's actually included with the intermediate lengths and the XL rifle length. All right, guys, so that's all of the barrels that we offer from 9mm and 7.5 inches to 6.5 Creedmoor and 22 inches with everything in between. With the exception of the Creedmoor, everything fits in AR-15. The Creedmoor is AR-10. We have every length of gas system covered from rifle length to extra long rifle length, all the way down to pistol and even no gas system with the blowback 9mm design. So we've got you covered. If you wanna hunt, if you wanna shoot long range, if you wanna shoot precision, if you need something that's very lightweight and small, we've got you covered. If you have more questions, check out our website at odinworks.com. We also have social media at Facebook and on Instagram. Check us out there.